Are you guys two lovers? Are you are are you guys lovers? Two lovers? This is two lovers point. Yes. Yes. And action! I'm here at a uh, two lovers point. I'm gonna try the drone out here. It is very sunny. I think it's about 90 degrees outside. It's about 1:30 p.m. So let me uh, get some shots here. I know you feel like you want me And I guess in a way you do All of my breath on reveling emotions I need some space to think this through Call me on night long Try to give you hints and a heart to see Right on the And action. So I'm here at Two Lovers Point. I was flying my drone. I ran into uh, one of the guys up here who works at Two Lovers Point. And this is... Um, Hi, my name is Dre. Dre. So Dre, how do we get in to see to the point, okay, the tip so up there? It's uh, $3 general admission, but with a Guam ID, Guam driver's license or military ID, it's $2. All right. Awesome, awesome. How is it today? Is it busy or? Uh, it's that okay. Okay. Yeah. So I got two bucks. Let me just put this on pause real quick. All right, Dre. All right. Here you go. Here's your ticket. Oh, your Coupons ticket. on the back. Coupon for? My uh, free calamansi iced tea oh, with the purchase of an entree. Oh, get a free. Yeah, that's uh, pretty that's good. up at the restaurant there. Yeah. So I live in Guam, so this is two bucks. But if you don't, it's only three bucks. So I've been here before. The view is beautiful. Anyways, Dre, other than the view, what else can we do here? Besides uh, looking at the view, uh, check out uh, the vendors. They sell uh, slushies and smoothies. Also, the restaurant is new ever since uh, 2016. Uh, and that's pretty much it. All right. Let me go check it out. Thanks, for, thanks man. I appreciate no your help. All right. You have a good All one, sir. All right. You can see behind me, there it is. There's the point. Right over there, everybody's taking photos. I'm not with my uh, lover. This is called Two Lovers Point. My lover is working right now. That's Judy. <laughs> I wish she was here. Let's go, sir. Are you ready to see something spectacular? Make sure this camera's secure. Whoa, look down there. It is a massive cavern going straight down, I believe all the way down to the uh, beach side, the water side. So you definitely gotta come up here and check this out. So, uh, Two Lovers Point is a registered uh, natural landmark. And that was in 1972. At least that's what the sign says. <laughs> right on. We have two lovers right here. Are you guys two lovers? Are you are are you guys lovers? Two lovers? This is two lovers point. Yes. Yes. Are you uh, husband wife? Yes. yes okay. Yes. So two lovers. Two lovers. <laughs> yeah. See. Yes. See, we got two lovers right here. Yeah? Perfect. It's a perfect day.
Ice Point. Anyways, he's gonna tell us the story about why they call this place Two Lovers Point. Mike, Hi. go for it, Mike. Well, today, so this place, the legend is there's two local lovers. The daughter, the lady was the daughter of a high chief, and the father wanted her to marry a Spanish captain. Mm. Um, she she didn't want, and this place was supposedly their they're like um the place they'll come and relax like and you know enjoy the view right so one of the stories is that the two lovers plan to meet up and we're supposed to sail to another island okay but the soldiers follow uh found them and chased them up here and they tied their hair together and they jumped wow so they to their death. so they jumped to the depth they committed suicide yes because they had a Supposedly a forbidden lover. It was a forbidden love. How long have you been working up here? I've been working here for three months. Going for three three months. months. Have you ever seen any of the um, tourists tie their hair together and jump off? No. Do you? Is that something you want to see or? Okay. So uh, Mike explained to me that if you look carefully along the shoreline, you can see the face of the man. Who, uh, the lover, one of the lovers that jumped to their death. And if you look carefully, you can actually see it. There's the nose right there. There's the the eye part and there's the mouth. That is so neat. I never saw that before. And then there's also a lady right there. You could see an outline of a woman's body. And you know what? I actually see it. Let me uh, see if I can get the camera right there. You see that? The head, that's the head. That's the upper part. Wow. That is really neat. You know what? I've been up here several times, but this is the first time uh, I got educated on the not only the legend of Two Lovers Point, but the, also the uh, topography of the area where you can see the lovers. I didn't know that. That's very interesting. So, uh, Mike, what, what else can we do here? What, el what, what else is available here in the Two Lovers Point? So, here we also have a local flower called the nan Nanasi. I'm not even familiar with that. What is that? It's a local medicine plant that okay. you can use for stomach pains and like dry eyes. Okay, dry eye. Okay. Is, is it here right here in this area? It's by the statue. It's by the statue. Okay, I'll check that out. Okay, all right. And uh, you know, I'm going to go down here. I'm going to look at the storyboard that they have here um, commemorating the story of the two lovers. Because this is called Two Lovers Point. Sorry. Mike. It says a couple of words here, forever, right there, tragedy, despair, devotion, and forbidden. But you know what? I think I'm reading that wrong. So let's start. So they had a forbidden love right over here. That's the first storyboard. Then, but they were devoted, hopelessly, I hope devoted but everyone was against their love their family so they were in despair right then the tragedy came when they came from to the point here to lovers point and decided to jump off when they were looking for them however their story lives forever their love lives forever not not only here at the point but in the shoreline and on the cliffside incredible so you were saying that the, the the flower the plant is for dry eyes and what what's the other one dry eyes and stomach pains and stomach pains and what what's the name of it again nanasu nanasu i'm not even familiar with that nanasu so we're gonna go take a look at the nanasu plant okay. we've seen this a lot of locals they've seen this plant but they don't really know that if you boil the leaves yeah. and drink the you know the water, they help like the stomach pain. Yes, yeah, like the tea. Tea. And if you look at the flowers, right. they only bloom half a side. Oh, I didn't even wow look at that. It's just look, only only halfway. So we call it the two lovers flower because like like a couple, 
they it completes each other so once again when they actually bloom when the flowers actually bloom they only bloom one side right so, and he's saying that there's the other half like a male and a female like a couple and they get together and uh, like the point they become joined forever wow incredible story and another thing there's a butterfly that just flew right by us this is nuts might be our good luck <laughs> and this one okay there's another thing you want to show these pods is the one for your eyes okay it's if you look at it the more oh. wider it is the more juices it right. produces so he squeezed it and he got we got some liquid com coming out of it and this thing is you know it's a it's not a sap it's, uh -huh. it's a water okay it's, you know, so what, can, what do you do? Do you put it? You can put in your eye. Why did you lick your big Oh, because, <laughs> oh you put... Yeah, you my eye don't have dry eye. Okay, no, no, okay, it doesn't have dry eyes. Also. So it's it's basically just water. Yeah. Okay. And it, oh, it's just to you, uh, you hydrate. Yeah. yeah, hydrate and flush your eye out. So what did you learn about that? Everything I learned, I learned from like this one. I learned from a, a local man that really practices the, the culture. Okay. And... Um, Here's another thing. Oh, a lot let, of let's, people. Let's go. Let's go. We got. We got. We're learning today. This education. We're learning. So we are learning. A lot of people see this. This is a butternut tree. Right. A Chinese butternut tree. This is yeah, and he's right. It's a Chinese butternut. Yeah. But when you connect it together, it makes a heart. That is. <laughs> <laughs> there is so much symbolism for two lovers pointer. It is incredible. We got two flowers that you have to join together. You got the shoreline, you got the cliffside, and then you got the Chinese bitter nut tree. You got a heart. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, mate. You're awesome. You're awesome.